Find the equation of the plane with the points 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, and 2, 2, 0. First, we write down the equation of the plane. It's going to be given by a, x minus x, 0, plus b, y minus y, 0, plus c, z minus z, 0, equal to 0. Here, n equal to abc is going to be any normal vector. So it's going to be any vector that's perpendicular to our plane. And r0 equal to x0, y0, z0 will be any point on the plane. So I need to find n and r0. If you note, we have three candidates for r0. It won't matter which one we choose. At the end of the day, we'll have the same equation of the plane. Next, I need to find the normal vector. How do we find that? First, I find two directions in the plane, and then I take the cross product. So if I take two vectors, the cross product is gonna produce a vector which is perpendicular to both. To find two directions in our plane, we start with our three points. So I'm gonna construct the vectors. Okay, U is gonna be the vector joining P to Q, V will be the vector joining P to R. So what do we have here? I'm going to take the difference of Q minus P coordinate wise. So it's going to give me 1 minus 1, 0 minus 1, 1 minus minus 1. It gives me the vector U, 0 minus 1, 2. If I want PR, that's going to be my V. That's going to be 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 0 minus a minus 1. That gives me 1, 1, 1. We take the cross product. So I'll load our vectors in as rows. Okay, note, I'm gonna rewrite this matrix here a second time. We have i, j, and k on the top row. And note, what's our formula? I go down the first three diagonals, multiplying, add them together. I go down the next three diagonals backwards, and we subtract those. That's going to give us the cross product. So what happens in our special case? Well, I'm going to wind up getting minus 3i plus 2j plus k equal to minus 3, 2, 1. Now, if you calculate that using your rule where, say, I take i and then do the cross, so I'd have minus 1, minus 2. That'll give me the minus 3i. Okay, you can go through all that, but you're going to get the same exact answer. So this is just a shortcut for your cross product. Now, I would want to check that this thing is indeed perpendicular to my two directions. So I take the dot product, NU and NV, and I see that I get zero. So for instance, if I took minus three, two, one against one, 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 okay, it's gonna be minus three plus two plus one, that equals zero. So V and what we're calling N are gonna be perpendicular. Okay, so now I have my normal vector. I can just throw things into the equation. So I load up A, B, and C. It's going to be minus 3, 2, and 1. I'll use the point 1, 0, 1. So I'll have x minus 1, y minus 0, z minus 1. That's all equal to 0. And so that's going to collapse to minus 3x plus 2y plus z equals minus 2. The check on my work, let's just put each point in, see that they satisfy the equations. So I put in 1, 1, minus 1. What comes out? I'm going to get minus 3 plus 2 minus 1. That's going to give me minus 4 plus 2, gives me a minus 2, and we're good. 1, 0, 1, we know that's going to work because that's the point we started with. And then I have to check 2, 2, 0. I put 2, 2, 0 in here, I get minus 6 plus 4, gives me a minus 2. 